Hi guys, Chuck here, KK6USY. Welcome to Hanbury Adventures. So today we're gonna to check out a battery from Redodo, or Redodo, I'm not exactly sure how they say it, but anyhow, it's a 100 amp hour LiPo 4 battery. And this one is actually supposedly really good for higher amperage uh, output for like a trolling motor or something of that sort. Now a disclosure, they did send this battery to me for me to review and to test for you guys and to do a video on. They did not ask to see my video beforehand. They didn't tell me to say anything except to show the features or, or tell about the features of the battery and all the opinions are my own. So let's unbox this battery, see how well it's packaged. It did get here really nicely and uh, the, back, the box was really good. So that's on the shipping people though. And uh, let's just see what comes in the box. And then we're gonna test it. We're gonna test the battery by putting a, uh, a capacity test on it and see if it actually does do 100 amp hours. And then we're gonna hook up an inverter to it and also hook up a, uh, some appliances to it to see if it can actually run stuff. And one last thing, I'm gonna try this. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna hook the, put this thing in my, my deep freeze because it supposedly does, it has the, the cutoff for low temperature charging. So hopefully that goes well, and uh, we're gonna test all that. So, so let's get started and see what this battery looks like. All right guys, this is the box the uh, Redodo was shipped in. And if you look around the box, it looks pretty, pretty good shape. So shipping did a good job, they did their job right. Now let's just open this thing up. Let's see what comes in the, the battery, the box. I always lift this up a little bit when I go down the middle. All right. Throw my knife back here for now. Now on the top of the box here, it's got a product manual. Uh, pretty nice looking setup here, guys. Let's look inside real quick. We won't go through it, we'll just look at it, what came in the box. In the bag, I should say. And that's got their logo, and if you guys can see that, it's got their logo and everything on it. That's a nice little uh, bag there, guys. So it came with a product manual. And the product manual is about, it's about what is it, about, six, 15, about 16 pages, looks like, and then the back of it. It has the long storage. This is, says long-term storage, how to set it up and store it for length of time. Just some more notice before you use. Most of these batteries come about 50%, 70% charged. I think that's by law somehow. Okay, and it just shows you the capacity due to shipping. That's what they're talking about here. So we can bring it up to, I'll have to charge this battery before I do any testing on it, guys. What are they saying here? Before connecting the load, please make sure the power supported by the battery can meet the power load demand. And do not connect the batteries of different brands with different specifications uh, in series or parallel. Um, I've heard different things on that, but I'll go by what they say for their battery. And then I'll look at this nice little trailer sticker here. And eh, if you're into stickers, they come with some nice stickers. All right, let me throw that stuff back in the bag here. I do like those stickers. They're pretty cool looking. The one with the truck and camper, the trailer, it was pretty nice. Now here it shows, and this is upside down to you guys, but it says here's the bolts for the post. And without taking about, it comes with two, two bolts and then two caps. And there's washers and stuff on the bolts. Okay guys, I'm not gonna take those out. Let's just see, this, this box looks really big. I don't know. Maybe this is a big battery. I'm looking at it with you guys. So let me throw all this stuff in here and put this to the side. Oh yeah, so that has about, if you guys can see it, has about an inch, inch and a half on each side of the battery. So it's protected. So if it did get hit, it'd have to get hit pretty hard. It's in a bag. Let me, let me pull it out of here for you guys. It has this nice little strap that's actually fairly easy to take off. You guys just, you just pull it off to the side here and pull it out. So let me pull that out. Oh, that was in there tight. Let me set this to you guys. There's our logo on top. It has two covers that uh, protect it from shorting out. Okay, so here's the top of the battery. LTCP um, has like a a uh, serial number here, it looks like. Their, their logo on top. Two caps on these from the positive and the negatives. And they are almost flush with the top, but just a little above. All right, and that's come off. Those are just protecting it to keep it from shipping. Something getting on uh, hitting both of them, okay? 
Now on the front, um, so this has low temperature charging protection, LTCP, that's what that stands for. Younger, bolder, stronger. That's their logo. Here's their website you can contact them at or get a hold of them. And it just says a 12.8 volt battery, low temp, and 100 amp hours. And this says it's for trolling motors and more. So this one has, has it's supposed to take uh, quite a bit of a, uh, a surge off the, off the very beginning to get you going on those little uh, boats, trolling motors. Then on the back, there's really nothing on the sides, guys. On the back, it's just uh, a bunch of the things like FCC and stuff, where it was manufactured and who buy. 12.8, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate deep cycle battery. So again, this is a so this is a deep cycle battery, guys. It's not going to start your big diesel or your car. It's not a starting battery, and it says it's made in China. 1,280 watts, guys. Let's just do some quick measurement. This thing's pretty big. It's bigger than some of the batteries I've had in the past. Let's just see. So across the top here, it's about 13 inches. Front to back is about seven inches. And then the height, uh, eight and three quarters inches, guys. I'd give it almost nine inches to the top of these, okay? And this, you can either take it off or you, you can probably just pull it down so it doesn't stick up if that bothers you. I gotta charge this thing, like I said, it's uh, probably up maybe 50 to 70% charged. And then we'll get on with the uh, capacity test and some load testing. All right, guys, so you can see I've had this running for a few minutes here. It's at 12.4 the volts, 10 amps, is fully charged. All right, there's the setup on the battery. We will be back. All right, guys, let's take a look at the uh, their website for Redota. And I think I'm gonna break this, this video up into two parts. I will link the second part with this video so that way you can watch it later if you want to, or you can go right to it. So let's go down there, the list they've got here. So this is this one sold as a low temp battery, which means it has the low temperature cutoff, and we will test that later. Um, so if it's if the temperature is too low to charge the, ba the battery safely, it should shut off. And, and I'm going to test that, guys. So we'll I'll do that later. That'll probably be in the second video. All right. So here we have it. Says low temp. It's a 12.8 100 amp hour low temp. Uh, again, it says for trolling motors and more. And we're just, I'm just gonna go right through there. I'm gonna show you guys a few things. They offer a lot of different things, so I'm gonna show you a bunch of different things here. And that's why it's probably gonna take a little longer than I, I usually do about, you know, 15 minutes. Um, that's about <laughs> most of our attention spans, right? So, and it's just another picture of the battery here. Now they're showing it in a, in a, in a low temperature uh, situation here. And that's because that's the, the claim to fame on this battery is that it is, it does have that low temperature cutoff. And I'm sure it works. Renoto makes really good stuff, guys. That's the reason I'm going to go down there, their site, and show you a few other things they sell. And I'll put links in the description. And if you do buy something from the from the links, it will help the channel. It won't cost you anything more, but um, it will help support the channel some if you want to, you know. And so, oh, let me let me go back there. So down here it says cutoff rate is 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius, and we Charging recovery, 41, okay, at 41 degrees, it comes back on and starts charging again, guys. Pretty sure I can get it colder than that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it in a freezer. And discharging cutoff, uh, minus four Fahrenheit and minus 20. On here, it's, it's showing again the low, the low temp, salt spray protection and moisture proof. This thing's uh, built pretty well. I mean, I, I'm sure it's sealed and you shouldn't have any problems with anything like that. Uh, overcharge protection, over discharge protection. That's a good one, guys. And NRVs like the old lead acid batteries, if you have, a, you leave something on like a light or something that draws it down, that really affects those batteries. And what happens here is this one will cut off before it gets to a point where it'll hurt the battery. So that's actually a good thing because I've had that problem before leaving lights on, you know. Short circuit protection and overheating protection. And it just shows the uh, buildup of the battery here. They're showing here with a trolling motor and stuff like that. It says the time, run time is two times longer. Now, what they're probably talking about is lead acid batteries, because lead acid battery you can only run about fifty percent, and a uh, life before you can run hundred percent of the capacity there. So it says ten percent smaller, sixty-six percent lighter. These things are light compared to a lead acid battery, guys. Uh, energy density is three times more. 
and like it's like I said, a hundred percent depth of discharge. All right, just another picture of it. Here we go, and so it's showing the uh, the, the dimensions of the battery. I, I gave that to you guys at the uh, unboxing part of it, but here they are again. If you want to pause and look, and it does show you your bolts. Uh, it shows about nine sixteenths of an inch of plenty of plenty of room for you guys to put those cables in there. And right here, they're showing you. For some reason, this battery needs to stand straight up and down, like like normal. Um, they're showing not to put it on its side, which is different than a lot of your LiPo fours. A lot of them you can you can put on their side; doesn't really matter. But for this one, I guess you guys better uh, keep it straight up and down. And here again, they're showing you you can work this with uh, with multiple batteries, but you can do 12 volt, 24, and 36 because some of your uh, trolling motors are 36 and 24 volts so you have to cook a couple batteries together or sometimes companies will sell a battery with that much voltage but they're showing you here to hook two or three together to get that and this is their their distribution they've got four different places looks like uh, anywhere from two to seven days i think mine got here in two days i live in california they have one in california so it's pretty easy all right and they have technical support 24 hours, one-on-one customer service, return and refund service, and local shipping warehouses, like I said. And here they're showing, um, they have a fast two-hour fully charged time. Uh, this is one of the things I'll show you later. It's, a, it's an actual charger. It will actually charge at 50 amps. Now, I would only use the 50 amps, guys, if you needed to do it really fast, say you forgot to charge it and you're leaving in, in like two hours or something like that. Otherwise, I'd, low, I'd use the lower um charging current it's usually better for batteries and then we're back to the beginning here it says order today expect delivery by march 8th or 12th all right let's go down and see what else i got now frequently bought together things they're showing you here see let me uh click all these off so they're showing 227.99 for that battery um, but that's in this 5% off if you buy other things. So if you add, say, the shunt, all these different things, then it gives you your price there at 556 So you save almost $30 over buying them all separately. So if you need all these parts, it's better to buy them all at once if you can. I understand. I mean, a lot of times I don't do that. Anyhow, I just buy them one and them. Now this shunt, let's just, let's just click on this shunt here and look at this. $65.99 on sale right now, usually $80, $79.99. Now, shunt is the only way you guys can actually tell what state of charger batteries and what percent is less. And I'll go down the, uh, I think, yeah, we can do the same thing here. There's the, this is, this part right here is the, uh, the part that you mount someplace. It's the actual gauge. And it's showing you the shunt. If you look over here, this is what you hook to the battery here. You, what happens? On most of these, I'm sure this one's the same. All your, all your, um, anything that draws power goes to that negative side. That way, it keeps track of what you're putting in and what you're what you're taking out, because it will tell you both. Um, but it's so like so it's showing 50% charge right there. Here's a better picture of that, guys. And you have capacity level, present capacity, discharge indicator. So it'll tell you if it's discharging or if you're making power, let's say you have a hook to solar. And then it also shows you remaining charge and discharge time. That would be like your, like if you have a 100 amp hour battery and you have a 10% draw, then you got 10 hours, right? And it's just easy, quick, simple math, supposedly, okay? By the way, that's what I tested this battery at was 10 amps. And we'll, we stick around for the next video and you guys will see how it did. And then it will tell you present voltage, present current. That's like right now it's showing that this is minus 50 amps is drawing from the battery right now. And present power, one kilowatt. All right. So a shunt is a really good way of knowing where your batteries are at. Voltage, especially on these lithiums, the voltage on these things uh, will stay at like 13, 13, one like that for a long time. And then all of a sudden, boom, it's gone. And that's like your like your power tools. You know how you're you know you're drilling all of a sudden, and all of a sudden it just quits. That's the way. That's what will happen with it. It'll just shut off. Okay. So let's go back to the main page again. Like I said, I will put a few of these things down in the description if you guys are interested in them, um, along with this page here. So basically, it looks like we're just going through all the pictures we just did. They're showing here on a boat. 
Um, higher instantaneous load capacity, best battery for trolling motors. See, a, a trolling motor is going to hit that thing, boom, right all, all of a sudden. It's not going to come in soft on it. It's going to hit it hard. And so it says max continuous charge discharge is 100 amps. And max discharge current for five seconds is 300. A lot of times things will start like like air compressors for like, a, you know, it takes a lot to start it. But once it's running, it doesn't take as much. Okay. And they're just showing it here. Uh, automatic grade. Okay, it says safe and reliable, built to last, automatic grade, stable performance, safe and eco-friendly, 10 years lifespan. That's the, that's the deal with these batteries. Usually there's 10 years. And then at 10 years, they're like 80%. Okay, a lot of times, guys, so that's how they're rated. So, and less maintenance. These, these things are really clean and they're, like I said, they're really light. Now they're showing you three different ways to charge these batteries. You have like, you could buy their um, charger and their charger is recommend charging current like they like I said earlier, it's 20 watts max, guys. But you can max you can do it max it out at 50 if you need to. And that's just like I said, if you need to get it done in two hours, use the 50. But try not to do that often. And then you can do solar panels. Solar is a great thing to help you out while you're camping or even at your house if you're if you don't want to you know run power to recharge your stuff. You can always hook it to that. And then they're showing a generator also, like a gas generator, guys. We're just showing some more pictures of it here. And then they're just showing some different areas where you'd like trolling motors again on a sailboat for powering your sailboat, your bass boat, which that looks more like a deep sea fisher to me, uh, RV and camping. Now down here, you have different types of batteries. Now, if you say you're gonna go 200 amp hours in your motor home, I would buy a 200 amp hour battery and I'll show that to you. I think they, oh, uh, I thought they, 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 they sell them. These are all different. This is a 50 and a 100. 100 and 100 this is the mini 100 over here guys i wonder where my cursor is and each one has something different like the first one's just 50 amp hour and the second one uh let's see it just it looks like their standard battery and then the mini and then they have one that's a, a smart bot battery which will have some kind of a bluetooth setup i'm sure to with an app that goes to your phone, okay? Okay, here we go again. Now, that, what I was saying earlier, if you want 200 amp hours, buy a 200 amp hour battery, then you don't have to set things up. I mean, you don't have to hook two batteries together to get the 200, you just have it right here. And usually, a 200 amp hour battery will have a little bit higher load capacity. You, now, I also looked at this uh, inverter they sell, and inverters, I always buy a pure sine wave. That way, if you are running computers and stuff like that, it's supposed to be easier on, you know, on your, on your, wherever you're hooking up to it. And the cost usually is not a whole lot different. Um, usually it's a little more expensive, but we'll, we'll take a look at this one here. And they, I know they sell bigger ones too, but uh, this is the one they have on this page. Um, it says Ridoto, Ridoto 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter with digital LCD gauge. Now I don't know where the gauge is. It might be on the front here. Let's let's go through the uh, pictures. There's the back of it. It looks like everything is protected, so when you do hook it up, that uh, nothing should touch the positive to the negative. And it gives you your dimensions there. It's three inches tall by uh, almost twelve inches long by almost seven inches wide. All right. And there's the what, what the inside looks like. There's a lot of different things inside those things. And there's your LCD on the front there. And then it has two plugs. So it had cooling fans. That's what they were showing you here. What you don't want these things is to overheat. And if you do put them in, a, in something, you'd need a little bit of venting where if they're inside of a box or, or com compartment on your motorhome, you probably want a little bit of venting also for that. So that's just some of the things that uh, they offer. Hopefully this video helped you guys some in the next video. I, I will link the two together. I'll post them probably within like an hour apart or something like that. And that way you guys can go to the next one to see how it tests out, okay? So I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Thank you for joining me on Ham Radio Adventures today. I know your time is valuable and I do appreciate you guys spending the time here and hope to catch you guys on the airways. 73 all.